Hey. Hey. Oh, y'all need to hurry up. Need to hurry. I'm trying to do this fast because I got to get my daughter, my baby girl. And also, um, this computer is trying to go dead. So we can't have that, can we? <laughs> no, seriously, you know, I got to say, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Walk Live. Listen, for all you've been rocking with me since day one, you know, I love you. That's my, let me straighten up the heart a little bit. See if I can make it better, like a better heart, like a better. It's still not, I'm not in a gang, not. So I'm just, I'm trying to, it's love, <laughs> you feel me? That's what I'm trying to. And for all of you who are new, listen, I hope you like what you see and what you hear. My name is Sakima. I post on this channel every Tuesday. So please, if you haven't already, hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button so you do not miss an upload. And what do I upload on this channel? What do I post? I post different nuggets, different lessons that God has given me along my journey. And they've helped me chip away at some of the barriers that have been in my path. My hope is that by sharing, they will help you as well. So yeah, that's what this is. And also, from time to time, you'll see me doing different things like vlogging, you'll see me interviewing, you'll see me doing different things. All those things will be coming up soon, you know. And so, um, just be on the lookout for that. And if that's the type of thing that you like to see, I'm going to give you what you came for. I like to say, when you come to this channel, you will definitely find inspiration, you'll find laughter, and you'll find life. All right? So, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's get all of those things. All of those things. Now, I like to give a little moment for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're saying, listen, I already love her. I have not been on here before. I'm really new, but I really like her. I like her energy. I like all of the things. And I want to go ahead and subscribe. Why not? Please join the family. And if you've been rocking with me for a while and you just haven't hit the subscribe button, I know you just haven't gotten a chance to. So I'm just going to give you that moment just right now. So yeah, just be doing something else. Okay. Awesome. Okay, okay. I see what you did. I like that. You hit that subscribe button. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the family. listen we're gonna jump right in okay so we're gonna talk about confidence today okay this is a subject that I really didn't think that I would be talking about anytime soon because that is something that I had struggled with all throughout my life and still I need God to help me you know to to get better at this it had stopped me from networking it stopped me from getting friends now I will say in certain points I could be like introvertish so I'm learning myself so that I, I'm not trying to always compare myself, always be like someone else. I'm learning my like personality type. So that's another thing. You have to make sure that you learn yourself so that you're not always competing. What if we did not know, oh, I think I'm an introvert. And I was always seeing extroverts being all loud and just out there. And I'm like, oh man, something's wrong with me. But really, it's just you a matter of you learning, hey, this is not something that's odd. And this is something that is very normal. And a lot of people are like this. It's just that you are noticing this type of person more and you're thinking this is how you're supposed to be, like it's normal. But God has made us in all different types of ways. I am this way and so I can relate with those who are this way as well. And there is a reason that God made you the way that he made you. So what I don't want you to do is compare yourself and be looking to be like someone else. The way you were made is beautiful. You're fearfully and wonderfully made and you don't have to be like other people, all right? And I wanna, 
so when we have trouble with our confidence, it really, really trickles on down. It, tri it snowballs, I should say. So not only will it stop you from, you know, making friends horizontally, right? Like reaching out to people, um, it'll stop you from going to different events where you may be able to meet some people and be able to inspire others. Because see, if you are isolated all the time and you're by yourself and you don't want to talk to anybody, you want to step any, on any toes and all of that, then you are less likely to go and be able to even affect someone else in a great way. What if God is wanting to use you? As an introvert, a lot of times I'm, I'm thinking about how someone is going to affect me. Like, or you know how they're going to make me like have to feel like I need to talk and come out of my shell and all that but guess what sometimes God is wanting to affect someone else through you sometimes God is wanting to give something else through you and so you can't always be thinking about just how you are going to avoid everybody because of your confidence or because of your personality type I want you to be strong and know that in the times that you need to be more outgoing or need to speak to someone or need to be able to make friends or step out and do things that you don't normally do, um, need to be able to uh, give your energy within a relationship, I need you to make sure that you know that you also can acquire you can learn, you can learn to utilize different traits that you may not innately feel like you have, right? So although I am very introvertish, I know that God has called me to talk to people, to help people, to teach people, to minister to people, to um, encourage people. And so that causes me to kind of like have to talk to people. And so I now have to say, okay, I know that I'm not normally and naturally like this and praise God for friends and family and loved ones who accept me the way that I am. Um, but I know that when the time comes for me to do or say something, then I'll be able to do that because God is gonna give me that. This is what God has called me to do. That's the thing. Whenever you are supposed to do something, when God has called you to do something, that doesn't just have to do with yourself and it has to do with other people. The enemy hopes that your confidence level is so low that you will not even attempt to do that. You will not even try. You will not even go after what God has planned for you because he'll make you so timid, so intimidated that you will not go forward in this. And that is not what we wanna do. Because when I say it snowballs, your confidence your lack of confidence in yourself um, not only makes you feel like I can't go to this person, I can't do this, I can't do that. It also makes you think this way when it comes to your relationship with God. We begin like if anything happens, we begin to think about how I shouldn't, I shouldn't even approach. I, sh I should not even approach because you know this, this, and that, and then you know. We have a million things going through our head about why we should not approach God or why we should not even talk to people or how we're gonna step on their toes. And we don't realize that, although yes, I know in my head that God loves me and it's not the same as these earthly relationships, it still sometimes doesn't even register to us that we are free to go to God with whatever it is that we are dealing with, with whatever it is, whether we've messed up, whether we feel like we just need help, we're noticing some things some patterns, we need help in a certain area, no matter what it is, whether we've talked about this same thing over and over and over and our friends are tired of hearing us talk about it, our family is tired of hearing us talking about, talk about it. God is not that same way. We can approach his throne with confidence. The Bible says in Hebrews 4, 16, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Y'all, we are needy people needing all kinds of help. Listen to me. If you know yourself, you know you need the help. Like we can't afford at this point to be so nervous, so timid that we don't reach out when we know we are lacking somewhere, when we know we're bleeding somewhere, when we know that we are, we have a deficit somewhere. 
we have to reach out whether it's to other people or whether it is to god we've got to reach out we've got to be able to come out of our shell at least that much to be able to get what we need and this this scripture just said that we can approach god's throne with with confidence so that we can get the things that we need so i just came on really quickly to encourage you if you're a person who does not have that confidence know that those areas of deficit the enemy tries to play on those things he tries to play on those things and say i know she has the issue here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cause a little strain right here so that she it, it kind of makes her fearful and she says see i knew that i shouldn't have done that or i know he you know lacks in in this area right here so i'm gonna kind of cause a little string right here so it's like oh man see i knew i shouldn't have stepped out like that i knew i shouldn't have done that i knew i shouldn't have so and so and we don't want to be like that we don't want to be like that there is something that god has for us to do and we are getting in these circles where we're starting to compare ourselves so much so that we we are internally comparing maybe not even externally, maybe not even voicing it, but we're comparing ourselves so much that one, we're stressing ourselves out, trying to become what we're seeing. Two, we think that we don't have anything to bring to the table in these conversations and in these moments. I find myself, y'all, let me just testify. I was uh, going to support my pastor. Uh, he was preaching at another church. He was invited to preach at another uh, service at another church. and. I was going in, however, because I got there late, I was I was going in with him and his his crew, right? So I'm just trying to find the sanctuary at this point. I'm just like, please <laughs> let me get out of this group because I'm not, <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm with the pastor. I'm just trying to sit down in the audience. Like, um, and and he did something that was so reassuring and so down to earth. He he said, Look at you, you just you all over basically he was he didn't say this but he said but he was like you know basically you're all over the place because i'm frantic because i know like i'm trying to get to sanctuary and every and someone's leading him in and leading their crew in and i'm like being pushed in with them as if i'm walking with them and he saw me be so nervous like oh my god no i'm not trying to, i'm sorry and he was like it's okay you with your pastor and i love that i love that the nervousness, everything that I was feeling, even though I was still nervous about that. The nervousness that I was feeling though, and, and just the overwhelming sense of, let me get out of here, was was calmed a bit because of his humility. Him being so kind and sweet and gentle to me and being welcoming. And that's the way our heavenly father is. We're sitting there sometimes thinking, I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. I'm just one of the, I'm just so small. I'm just over here. He loves us so much. He knows the number of hairs we have on our head. And he says, you are with your pastor, the one that leads you, the one that guides you. You don't have to be nervous. You don't have to be afraid. I am here. You're with, as long as you're with me, you have nothing to worry about. So that helped me to walk in confidence. If I did have to walk in with them, which thank God I did not, I was able to find the sanctuary and go sit down somewhere. But if I did have to walk in with them, then I could do it holding my head up high, not thinking that one of his crew go turn around in a minute, like, can we help you, ma'am? <laughs> Can we help you? I could do that with confidence. And so I want us to think about that when, no matter where we're invited to, no matter what in spaces we go in, no matter who we're talking to, although it might make us nervous, we don't have to sit there without our confidence. We can just begin to think about what God has given us and think about the things that are authentic to us. You ever talk to somebody who was like adolescent and you can see them trying to like basically match you and just agree to everything that you're saying so that they can have some, so we can like be cool. You know what I'm saying? When you get older, you notice somebody doing that. But when you're younger, you, you the one doing it. So you don't realize it's happening. Like you see that that's happening and you see that this person has not grasped their identity. And the enemy does so many things to try to take your identity from you so that you don't even have a chance but when you begin to grow and God begins to give you your identity through your time spent with him, through situations that you go into with him, he, he begins to give you your identity so that then you can say, I, I feel stronger. I can do this. 
okay? I can go into these spaces and be confident. I can go to God and be confident. So I just want to tell you, be confident. I know it's hard. It's easier said than done. But listen, God has approved you and said that you are with me. I got you. So there's nothing to be nervous about. So go forward in faith and confidence, knowing that if we can go to our father with confidence, then we can go to others in confidence and know that he's given me something that's only mine. It's unique to me. You may not get it. You may not understand. And that doesn't mean that if I'm doing something that may hurt you or may rub you the wrong way, that I'm not willing to you know, change and, and see what I need to do. But that means that I can definitely adjust myself and say, you know what? I, I can do this. I can do this. What is it that's going on? What do I need to do to better serve you? Because that's a part of my, that's a, that's not a lack of confidence for me to say, let me adjust my attitude or let me adjust my behavior in order to better serve you. That's something that God has given you to, to be able to serve your neighbor and love your neighbor. Okay. So don't get that mixed up, but go in confidence. I love you. Listen, I got to go get my baby, but I hope that her, helps somebody. And you know what I always say, my journey with God has been just that, a journey. And it's one that I know I was called to share with you. So I wanna thank you for joining me week in and week out on the walk. Bye.